Mr. Gupta, may I request you to say a few words on this memorable occasion, please? Uh, Namaskar and Jai Hind. So, uh, any recognition to me, any recognition to Goonj is actually the recognition to a series of non-issues in this world. I've been asking these questions in all these forums all across the world. Just to give you some of the examples, you know, I always say that if you go to a private school today, where unfortunately in India we call them public schools, every third or fourth kid wears a glass, spectacles. If you go to a government school, a municipality school, a village school, you hardly see any kid wearing glasses. And this is what I always question that the education is hampering because the education policy is wrong, teacher-student ratio is wrong, as we often say, or the education is also hampering because the kid can't see. The transport minister is sitting here. We are in the hardcore business of logistics. We move around 3,000 tons of material every year in parts of 22 states, not as charity but as a currency. I'll explain in the next one minute. In the last 17 years, 18 years of our work, we have never seen a truck driver wearing glasses. Although we know that the eyes are pretty vulnerable. I often ask people that the accidents are happening because the driver, because the roads are bad, because the dog comes on the road, the way we say, or the accidents are happening because the driver cannot see. These are the non-issues. These are absolutely non-issues which we never considered issues. So about two decades back, we started talking about the issue of clothing. A whole lot of people in the world think that we are in the business of collecting and distributing cloth. We don't do. We use it as a currency. But the whole idea was that you talk about three basic needs of humankind. You say roti, kapra, makan, food, cloth and shelter. Then you talk about the development issues across the globe, Millennium Development Goal, Niti Aayog, Sustainability Goal. You have 100, 150 issues from domestic violence to global warming. You will never find clothing written as a subject. We said if earthquake is a disaster, flood is a disaster, how come winters are not a disaster? When a piece of cloth is such a big symbol for my dignity, how come that is not a piece of symbol for the entire world? My journey started when I left corporate by meeting a small girl in the city of Delhi. We are like any other big city, we have a large number of homeless people. The girl, the child, the little child of a person who used to pick up unclaimed, abundant dead bodies for the local police. And when this guy called Habib said that in winters my work goes up and many times I have so much of work that I cannot handle it. And his little daughter told me, which still shakes me, in Hindi she said that when I feel cold, I sleep with my hands. I don't sleep with my hands, I don't change my hands, I don't change my hands. When I feel cold, I hug the dead body and sleep. It does not trouble me. It does not turn around. These are the realities of the larger part of the country. And we all can do a lot because you know, the governments are doing their own jobs. Citizens need to come up, citizens need to understand these non-issues. We started working on this non-issue. Today, in nutshell, we are very strict about it that charity cannot solve the problem. Dignity is extremely important. 3,000 tons of cloth, utensil, footwear, office material, anything and everything is now channelized to the parts of 22 states of India where people take up their own initiative, they dig a pond, they clean a well, they make roads, they make bamboo bridges. Just before the Kashmir trouble, we cleaned up about one lakh square meter of Dal Lake. The only difference, people are not paid in cash. People are paid in material. It is dignifying giving, no more charity. It is a revival of the traditional Indian strength called Shramdan. It is the revival of the traditional Indian strength called barter economy, where people for whom you work pay you in a currency called labor, and people are paid in a currency called material. It's a barter between material and labor, and the money is needed for the logistics of it. That's what we are trying to do. My only message today to this August audience Again, that there are issues and there are non-issues. 
while working on cloth before i leave i need to leave this mass